Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And today I have the last card that we made in card class last week using the meant to be stamp set with the coordinating Be Mine frameworks. And although it was a, it is a um, Valentine-y kind of set, we made a couple cards um, showing how you could not use it for Valentine's. And we made this one here as a congratulations card uh, for a new house. And we made this one here that is for any occasion. And today we are going to make one. It's not Valentine's. It's... Um, I'm going to use it for a wedding card. That's what I need. So I'm making this card here. And it does have some um, retired glimmer paper on it. And I, like I said, I always um, hate to use products that are not available any longer when I make my cards. But that glimmer paper, um, it's, if you don't have Stampin' Up's glimmer paper, any glimmer paper will do. Or you don't have to use glimmer paper. You can use plain um, cardstock. So, <clears throat> what we have here is my base is Thick Whisper White, which is discontinued. It's being replaced with Thick Basic White, which is the same texture, the same weight, the same everything, except the name is different, and I understand that the uh, color itself is brighter. I don't have any because I did stock up on this when I could, so um, I, I can't attest to it, but that's what other demos are telling me. And then I have a piece of Blushing Bride, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. Then I have a piece of Whisper White. Again, same issue with the Whisper White as the Thick Whisper White. And this is cut four by one inch. And then I have a piece of this um, Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper, which is cut four by three and three quarters. And it's going to go like that. Then I do need a... Um, scrap of white to die cut forever and some scraps to die cut out the hearts but before we get that far i want to put the most uh, most of my card together so what i'm going to do <clears throat> excuse me is put um this little side strip on my card and i'm going to use the stamp and seal because this is I think that this is the equivalent of our old uh, Fast Fuse. It is just really, really strong, and I love that. And so I'm going to attach that to my Whisper White piece. Like that. And I'm going to trim. I have a tiny bit sticking out right there, Sam. It was off just a tiny bit in my measurement. I'm going to trim that off, and now I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to attach this white piece off to the side, flush with the top and the bottom. Now, the next thing I did when I made the card was I wrapped this ribbon around it. I used up all of this ribbon in class. All the ladies um, made a card like that, and I've made a couple myself. So I don't have any more of that, but that's okay. I found this in my stash. This is Petal Pink. And although this is Blushing Bride and this is Petal Pink, I think it still looks very nice. So I'm going to use this piece here. And I'm just going to cut myself off a piece and make myself a bow. I think I might have cut this too small for a bow, but let's see if I can, off camera there, let's see if I can make this happen. I don't think so. Oh, I'm just going to start over with my ribbon. <laughs> I'm going to come over and try that again. Okay. The um, iridescent white there is just absolutely spectacular, the ribbon. Um, that was from the um, the holiday catalog that just retired. It's called Splendor, Snowflake Splendor or something like that. Oh, gee. 
please. Come on. All right. And there's my bow. And I'm going to leave that just like that until I'm done with the card. And then I will adjust it if I have to. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to attach that to my card front. A little bit of stamp and seal. And I do want to run down along sides because I want my ribbon to get some of that uh, adhesive on it so it will stay nice. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to do my die cutting. So, I'm going to use, oh geez, where did I put the heart? Here it is. <laughs> I'm going to use from the Be Mine stamps, uh, Be Mine dies, which are a big set. You have all of these hearts. This one goes right in there. You can see they're scalloped, they're stitched, they're plain, they're narrow, they're wide. And then you have these, you have an intricate one, you have an uh, edge frame. You have some other little uh, decorative pieces, a rose, some greenery. greenery. And let me show you the stamp set, too. It, um, oh, I don't have it here in front of me. But it's called the Be Mine. No, excuse me. It's called the Meant to Be stamp set. Um, but we're not using any of that. Oh, geez. Where did I put it, though? Huh? All right, I'll look around. It'll be here somewhere. So we're going to use this die cut, <clears throat> this die to make our hearts. Now I want to show you how that's going to work. Bring up my mini. Cut and boss. I just bought this this weekend. So the first thing I want to do is I want to cut out my, I want to cut out my white frame and my hearts. So what I'm going to do I have my number one plate, my number two plate, uh, um, oh, I had my piece of Whisper White, oh, so I got a phone call and then I totally got discombobulated. All right, here's my scrap piece of white and I'm gonna put my heart right on that and then I'm gonna come in with my second number two plate and I'm going to run this through. Now, oh. and this is what you get when you use this die here. Okay, glitter everywhere. <laughs> this is what you get. You get an inside white heart, which we're not going to use, but then you also get this white frame and that is what we're going to use okay then I'm going to with the same sandwich my number one plate my number two plate and a piece of the pink glimmer paper as you can see I've already cut one out I'm going to cut out another heart like with the first one, the white piece, we're going to end up with an inside pink heart, which we do need, and an outside piece that we don't need. So we're going to put that aside because we're going to use that for another project. And don't throw this away. Many, many, many years ago, Stampin' Up! had a punch. And... A little had a little heart and just go around and punch all these hearts out and put them away and next time you need to make a Valentine's Day card you can use those how's that okay so now we have our card here and what we're gonna do is attach our white I've already cut my second one we're gonna attach our white frames 
And to do that, I'm gonna use a glue pen. I'm gonna bring in my silicone pad because I don't wanna make a mess on my work surface. I'm always trying to get the adhesive off of it. And I'm going to attach a good amount of adhesive to that. And on this one here, I made my my heart standing straight. This one I'm gonna make now, I'm gonna put them off to the side a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna press it down, especially over the glitter, because you do want the glitter to it to stick to the glitter. And before I attach the next one, the next frame, I'm going to come in and attach my heart. And I'm going to use this stamp and seal because like I said, I think it is the equivalent of our old um, fast fuse, which just stuck to everything. And now this fits because it was cut from the same die. Let me come up closer. This fits right inside there. And we're just gonna press, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing with our second little heart. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna load that up with adhesive. And now I'm going to put this one, oh, maybe right about here. Offset it just a tiny bit. And I don't mind that it's underneath my ribbon. And that's why I put my ribbon in first so I could gauge how it's gonna look, okay? And now I'm gonna bring in my second heart and attach my adhesive and then it's gonna fit right in there and I'm gonna press that down, okay? <clears throat> now we have one last bit of die cutting to do and that I'm going to use the Sweet Silhouettes dies. And this is a cute little set. It has this great tree, and then it has this dandelion, and it has um, three words, inspire, adventure, and forever. And I thought forever was a good word for a wedding card. So I have a scrap piece of Whisper White, and again, I'm gonna bring in my plates. Plate number one, plate number two, my words with my paper and another plate number two. And I'm gonna run that through. And because it's words, letters I mean, I'm going to go back and forth twice. Glitter everywhere. You should have seen me cutting so I think I had to cut like oh my kind I lost count of how many um kits I had to cut and there was just glitter all over me for days. For days I was scraping glitter off of things. My husband, God love him, is not a glitter person. He just hates glitter. <laughs> so there's my beautiful forever. And I'm gonna bring my silicone pad back in and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to attach, apply some adhesive. Now, if you have as, uh, one of those little mini Xyrons, the x Xyron, that'd be perfect to run this through that. Um, if you have that um, double-sided, the sheets that are adhesive, you could do that. I have those, I just didn't pull those out. And now I'm going to put this right up here. I'm gonna make it straight. I'm gonna put it right there. And of course, I want that to match my um, glimmer. So I'm going to come in with my Wink Stella and just lightly run that along all of the letters. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle so it's all cohesive. And it does go kind of quickly. There we 
gum. Now the last thing I'm going to do is my inside sentiment and from the Forever Fern set, I'm going to use Love and Laughter Forever After. And I think that that forever picks nicely up on that forever on the outside. So I did mount that stamp somewhere. Oh my God, you should just see my desk today. It's just been a zoo. I've been videoing all day and getting ready for trying to plan out my next um, card class and whatnot. It's just, my desk is just in some terrible, terrible shape. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm just gonna come right down, straight down, straight up. And there we go. Love and Laughter Forever After, which picks up beautifully on the sentiment of forever. The last thing I'm gonna do is trim the tails on my bow. And I think I'm going to add a little glue dot behind the knot of my bow just to keep it in place so it stays where I want it to stay. So there we go. Slightly different version because I didn't have any more of this iridescent ribbon, but I think that this petal pink one looks just as nice as it does have a little bit of sparkle in there. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I use, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com, and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. If you do not have a demonstrator and you would like to have a current annual or mini catalog mailed out to you, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to do that. Thanks so much and I'll catch you, next, catch you back here next week with some more ideas. Thanks. Bye-bye.